Alrighty, Michael Walter here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and this is video two in the video series on how to expand your carpet business. Now in video one, I'm taking you from an installer in a store and sharing that you need to go ahead and figure out the numbers first. Figure out what the carpet stores are selling the most common products you install on a regular basis for and then go find out what the big box stores are selling these for as retail as well. So once you know the numbers, you have to find out how much you could actually buy this product for. So the other part of your homework was to connect with a sales rep, someone from Mohawk or Shaw or the local distributor that is supplying your carpet store with the product, get in front of him or her and find out either A, if they have a bunch of remnants or rolls that are discontinued that you could buy at a discount off of them, maybe even on a line of credit if you're tight on money, let them have them let you pre-sell it make the money and then pay you them out of the proceeds or just have them open an account for you on the side so you could start to offering a shop at home service there and offering this to clients. So know the numbers, connect with a sales rep from one of the big distributors or Mohawk Shaw, whatever the case is, was your homework. Next, we need to start selling product. You need to start making more money. You know what the retail price is. You know what you could buy it for and you want to set your price somewhere right in here. So if retail is $20 a yard for carpet pad installation and you could buy the carpet padding for eight plus your install at four is 12, you want to sell this for about 16 to 17. You're undercutting retail and yet you're expanding your income stream as well. So now we know how numbers work. What's the first step here? So before we start pitching people, you got to start looking. Stop looking like crap. Most installers, raggedy, smelling like cigarettes, beers, party from the night before. You don't have to look flashy, just polish yourself up. Clean jeans, clean shirt, fresh shoes, good to go. That's it, you don't have to be anything over the top. At the end of the day, you are a contractor. You don't have to show up in a suit, but don't show up looking like crap and stinking either. So first things, your personal appearance, take care of that. Fresh breath, all that good stuff. Next, your car. Whatever you're showing up to sell jobs in, it's gotta be decent. Now your work truck, I'm gonna have a whole other video on this because I go way against contrary belief on that part, but you should show up in a decent, clean automobile to sell the job, not your rust bucket truck, but it is fine to rock a rust bucket truck. Like I said, more on that later. So appearance good, nice car, nothing over the top, nothing super crappy either, just midline, low key, you're good. Time to start selling. So where are you gonna get your leads from? First things first, start with your network. If you go into your phone, your contact list, you probably have 200 plus contacts in there. Let them know you're expanding, you're offering a shop at home service, you have great deals on products, you're also doing uh, repairs and restretches, things like that as well. This will really get you into the door with people and then once you offer that service, you could upsell for the replacement. Trust me, it works really well. So start with your network, just let them know that you're expanding and to keep you in mind when they are in need of flooring or if they have any friends in need of flooring. The second place, the freaking gold mine for all this is real estate agents. Now, this can be a little scary doing a cold pitch to these agents if you don't know any and you have to just get in front of them and let them know you're the guy or gal that's getting busy right now. But this is what you do. If you don't know any real estate agents, go to Starbucks, buy a bunch of $10 Starbucks gift cards. Now, you might be saying, I'm gonna drop $100 on 10 cards to give to agents that might not give me a job. Check this out, this works. Buy a bunch of these gift cards, and if you have a business card, stuff it inside with the gift card folder so you have all that together. Stop by the busiest real estate agent office in your area, and you wanna kinda of target the middle class area. Don't hang out in the high-end neighborhood and not in the broke area, like your middle class, two income family neighborhood where everybody's making about 120 grand a year, give or take on a swing of that, that's the area you wanna focus on. Go to that real estate agent's office, go in there, there'll be a secretary at the desk, she's the gatekeeper, say, hey, my name's Mike Alder, I'm the local carpet installer, we're expanding our services, and I was wondering if I could talk to your agents about possibly teaming up and offering my services to them. They're gonna block you typically right away, oh, they're real busy, blah, blah, blah. Hey, look, I know everybody's busy, that's great, I don't wanna hold anybody up. I brought gifts for everybody. Here's a $10 Starbucks gift card. Would you mind if I just introduce myself to everybody real quick and pass these out and then you could call me at your convenience? Believe me, doors will open right up over something as stupid as this. Now, you still might be concerned about the investment. Some people, $100 might be tight and I've been there so I totally get it. But the reality is, if you give a good confident pitch, you give everybody a gift card, you come bearing gifts, one referral is all you need to make mad bank off of that $10 gift card or the $100 that you distributed all of them. So think about this. 
real estate agent has a listing, carpet looks like crap, they need three rooms replaced, and you just came in bearing gifts, you're on the top of their radar, they tell their client, look, I would wanna get this sold for top dollar, but if we could change the carpet, it'll sell that much faster. There's this guy in the area, I came by the office today, he's really great, blah, blah, blah. His name's Michael Alder, he's gonna do a shop at home service. Why don't you give him a call? He'll get all this replaced for us, we'll get the house sold, you'll get your money, I'll get my job done, and everybody wins. That's called a warm lead right there. You're already on the top of the line for the agent, and now the customer's saying, well, clearly Mike's the guy, he was recommended by the agent, now we have to use them. They'll reach out, you close the deal, you can make five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, depending upon the size of the rooms. That is well worth the hundred dollar investment and just sucking it up, getting in front of these agents and doing your pitch. And if you mess up the pitch, figure out where you messed up and pitch again. You'll get better every single time you do it. Trust me, this works. If you don't put yourself out there, you're not gonna get the bigger income. So that is part two of the business tip series. Polish yourself up and get selling, make that money. Comment below with any questions you might have on this. I'll keep the series going, but I do need feedback from you to know what I'm missing, what questions you might have. I'll cover all those in video format as always. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video.